Hi everyone, this is Sadish. Once again, welcome to Oxford Online Classes. In the last class, we have discussed linear equations, its properties, its solution, methods to find a solution, all these things we have discussed in the last class. Uh, and I have given uh, some homeworks also. Uh, I hope that you all done uh, that homeworks well. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss uh, solution of linear equations. We have uh, discussed the solutions in the last class, but in this class also we are going to see some more examples uh, and, and we will find to uh, we will find some alternative methods to solve uh, the linear equations. These two things we are going to discuss now. Uh, first of all solution of linear equations. We will see some more examples. Now let us try to solve these uh, problems. Uh, let us see the first equation 3x plus 3x equal to 2x plus 18. 3x equal to 2x plus 18. In the last class, I told you that we can do same operations on both sides of an equation without changing, without affecting its equality. Without affecting its property of equality, we can do any operation on both sides of the equation. 3x equal to 2x plus 18. So, I am going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Then 3x minus 2x is equal to 2x plus 18 minus 2x. What I have done is subtract, subtracting 2x from both sides. 3x minus 2x from uh, on the left side, 3x minus 2x from the right side also I have subtracted 2x. Now, 3x minus 2x is 1x means x is equal to here 2x minus 2x, 2x minus 2x becomes 0, 0 plus 18 that is 18. Now, x is equal to 18 is the solution of this equation. Uh, to verify this, uh, e this solution, we have to substitute x equal to 18 in both side of the equation. Uh, here, LHS is 3x we are going to substitute x is equal to 18, then LHS become 3 times 18 equal to 3 times 8 is 24, 4, remit to 2, 1 to 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 54. LHS is 54 and let us see what is the R value of RHS. RHS here RHS is 2x plus 18 which is equal to 2 into x, x is 18, 2 into 18 plus 18, 2 times 18, 36 plus 18 is equal to 54. Now, see LHS is 54 and RHS is also 54 means LHS equal to RHS that is our solution x is equal to 18 is correct. Okay. Now, let us see the second question for z plus 3 equal to 6 plus 2 z. To solve this equation, we have to subtract 2z from both sides of the equation, subtracting 2z from both sides. 4z plus 3 minus 2z equal to 6 plus 2z minus 2z. I have subtracted 2z from both sides. Now, 4z minus 2z is 2z plus Three. Once again, 4z minus 2z equal to 2z and plus 3, the term plus 3 should be there, equal to 6 plus 2z minus 2z becomes 0. Now, 2z plus 3 equal to 6. Then what is 2z? To find 2z, we have to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. 2z plus 3 minus 3 equal to 6 minus 3. I have subtracted 3 from both sides of the equation. Now, 2z plus 3 minus 3 becomes 0 equal to 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3. 2z equal to 3. We need z that is the solution. z we need for that we have to divide 2. We have to divide this equation by 2. 2z divided by 2 equal to 3 divided by 2. Now, 2 by 2 become 1. So, 1 to z, z equal to 
3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5. This is the solution of the uh, uh, given equation. If you want to verify you have to give z equal to 1.5 on both sides of the equation uh, find the value of LHS when z is equal to 1.5 then find the value of RHS when z equal to 1.5 and compare LHS and RHS if they are equal our solution is correct. Now I am going to solve x is equal to 4 by 5 into x plus 10. To solve this equation I am going to multiply this equation by 5. When I multiply it by 5 it will be 5 times x equal to 5 into 4 by 5 into x plus 10. 5 times x means 5 into x means 5x equal to 5 by 5 that will become 1, 1 into 4, 4 into x plus 10. We can use the property a into b plus e is a b plus a c distributive property 5x is equal to 4x plus 4 into x, 4x plus 4 times 10 that is 40. Now, 5x equal to 4x plus 40. Then again, I am going to subtract 4x from both side. 5x minus 4x equal to 4x plus 40 minus 4x. Here, 5x minus 4x is x is equal to 4x minus 4x 0 and the term 40 will exist there that is x is equal to 40 is the required solution. Now let us see the fourth question 8x plus 4 equal to 3 times x minus 1 plus 7. Let us see how to solve this one. First of all I am going to open this bracket. To open this bracket we can use distributive property 3 into x minus 1 is 3x minus 3 times 1. That is 8x plus 4 is equal to 3 times x, 3x, 3 into minus 1, minus 3 plus 7. And, the, and in the next step, I am going to subtract 3x from both sides, 3x from both the side. 8x plus 4 minus 3x equal to 3x minus 3 plus 7 minus 3x. 3x minus 3x become 0. Here 8x minus 3x which is equal to 5x and the 4 is there plus 4 equal to minus 3 plus 7. Again I am going to subtract 4 from both sides that is 5x plus 4 minus 4 equal to minus 3 plus 7 minus 4. 5x plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 minus 4 becomes 0. Now, 5x equal to minus 3 minus 4. Minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. Minus 7 plus 7, 0. 5x equal to 0. Once again, see this minus 3 and minus 4. Minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. Minus 7 plus 7 becomes 0. 5x equal to 0. I am going to divide this equation by 5 then 5x divided by 5 equal to 0 divided by 5, 5 by 5 1, 1 time x is equal to x and x is equal to 0 by 5, 0 by 5 is 0, x equal to 0 is the solution of this linear equation. Okay. In the last question 2x by 3 plus 1 equal to 7x by 15 plus 3. Let us try to solve this one. For solving this one, I am going to subtract 1 from both sides. 2x by 3 plus 1 minus 1 equal to 7x by 15 plus 3 minus 1 subtracted 1 from both sides plus 1 minus 1 becomes 0. Now 2x by 3 equal to 7x by 15 plus 3 minus 1 is plus 2. Again I am going to subtract 7x by 15 from both sides 7x by 15 from both sides. 2x by 3 minus 7x by 15 equal to 7x by 15 plus 2 minus 7x by 15. What I have done is subtract subtracted 7x uh, by 15 from both the sides. 
here 7 x by 15 minus 7 x by 15 becomes 0. Here 2 x by 3 minus 7 x by 15 here see see the denominator uh, denominators are not same we can make it same by multiplying a 5 here and here also we can multiply same number uh, same non zero number uh, to the numerator and the denominator of a, of a fraction. Now, it is become 2 into 5 10 10 x divided by 3 times 5 15 minus 7 x divided by 15 equal to 2. Now, the denominators are same we can operate numerators 10 x minus 7 x 10 x minus 7 x is 3 x divided by common denominator 15 is equal to 2. Now, I am going to multiply 15 on both side of the equation 15 into 3 x by 15 equal to 15 into 2. 15 by 15 become 1. Now, 3 x is equal to 3 x equal to 15 into 2, 3 x equal to 30, 15 into 2 30. Again dividing throughout by 3, 3 x divided by 3 equal to 30 divided by 3, 3 by 3 1 and x is equal to 30 by 3 which is equal to 10, x equal to 10 is the solution of this equation. I hope that you all understood how to solve a linear equation in one variable. To make this procedure more easy, we can find another way to solve a linear equation, an alternative method to solve a linear equation. Let us see an example, 2 x plus 3 equal to 5 is a simple equation. We need to find the value of x. To solve such equations, linear equations in one variable, what we need to do is shift the other terms x should be here other terms should be transferred to the other side of the equation. When you transfer a term to the other side you have to do the opposite operation. What I mean is if plus 3 is shifted to the right side of the equation you have to subtract 3 that means I am going to shift plus 3 to the other side then 2 x is equal to 5 minus 3 here 3 is added when you uh, shift the term to the other side added term should be subtracted there. Similarly, if it is subtracted here you should add the same term on the other side. If it is multiplied here you have to shift uh, to the other side with the division. If we, 2 is multiplied here you have to divide 2 on the other side. If it is divided here you have to multiply uh, the same term on the other side. That means, when you shift a term to the other side, you have to do the opposite operation. So, plus 3 is here. So, I shift plus 3 to the other side, it become minus 3. Now, 2 x is equal to 5 minus 3 or 2 x is equal to 2. Again, 2 is multiplied here. So, I am going to shift the term to the other side. If it is multiplied here, we have to divide the same term on the other side. So, x is equal to 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 this is the solution of the given equation. Let us see another example 5 x minus 8 equal to 3 x plus 2, 5 x minus 8 equal to 3 x plus 2. In this algebraic equation x is on the both side of the equation. So, first of all I am going to group all the x all the terms with x on one side of the equation. So, I am shifting 3 x to the left side of the equation. Now, 5 x plus 3 x is here. I am shifting to the left side. Now, it is become minus 3 x and is equal to a plus 2 is there. I am keeping 2 on the right side of the equation not shifting. So, no sign change will be there and minus 8 is on the left side of the equation. I am going to shift to the right side minus 8 to the right side become plus 8. Now, 5 x minus 3 x that is 2 x is equal to 2 plus 8 10, 2 x equal to 10 and 2 is multiplied here. So, to get x we have to divide 2 on the right side 10 by 2 which is equal to 5, x is equal to 5 is the solution. I think this method is easier than the previous one. You can try this method yourself 
so I am going to give you some more works. In your textbook, go to page number 30, you can find exercise 2.3. In exercise 2.3, question 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9 and 10. You try these uh, questions yourself in both the methods. Try to solve all these questions and send me the answers in uh, through WhatsApp or you can send a call. If you have any doubt, you can call me directly. Uh, my phone number is 9526958726. You can call me if you have doubt. Otherwise, you can send me the question through WhatsApp. Uh, I will solve it and send you back. One more thing, you have to practice well. If you practice well, you will become an expert. If you are an expert, you can do problems very easily, very effectively, very fast.